guys, this is Erin, or Gimme Yarn 418, and I am here with my next TGIF video. Um, thank God it's finished. And I have quite a bit to show you, um, so, yeah. First, I would like to say to everybody who I, um, is in my challenge on Facebook, thank you for all the well wishes. Um, everybody knows about the bombing in Boston last week. Um, I'm sorry, I'm cooking dog food at the same time. Uh, yes, I cook all my own dog food for our little spoiled pooches. But anyway, everybody knows about the bombing in Boston, and that just kind of hit really close to home for me, uh, being from Boston. But then, on top of that, my birthday was surrounded by tragedy. Um, Saturday night, we lost, um, we lost Benny. Benny was our, well, he techni technically was my in-law's 11-year-old um, Bernice Mountain Dog, and he had a long and very wonderful life, um, and it was time for him to go, and that was very, I'm just going to, I'm trying not to cry right now. Um, you don't know how much it hurts until you go through it, and it, it was just, it was, it, it still is very raw. So I want to thank everybody for all their kind words. And um, Benny was the picture at the beginning of this video. And um, I think I'll try and add some at the end too. So let's just get into it. Today I have uh, one work in progress, a bunch of finished objects, some stash enhancements, and mail. I got mail. So first thing, um, the first hat is knit out of the Crochet Dude Yarn Iconic, I think it was called, um, in the color Panty Raid. This is the Hurricane hat, and I love it. Love it. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I will um, put the description in the below. In, in the below. In the, I will put the pattern, a link to the pattern in the description below. So this is the first hat, the Hurricane hat, and I love the colors. And I love this yarn. If you have the opportunity, it's a pricey yarn but it's like it's seriously like knitting with butter it, it, it was amazing and I actually posted it um, on the crochet dudes Facebook page and he commented on it and he commented on my project on Ravelry and I was like celebrity celebrity likes my knitting <laughs> but anyway I'm a dork and you guys all know that by now so that was my first hat the second hat of last week is the Twisty Goo hat, which is also a free pattern on Ravelry. I will put a link down below. And this is knit out of Spinning Fates. I don't know the type, the brand. It's the worsted, her worsted weight yarn. And this was a something I got dyed up for something that didn't end up working out. So that's this one. And it's really cute. It has these little, um, I, I can't do things, mirrored. But it has little eyelets in it. And I called this the Purple Mountains Majesty because I took a picture with the um, mountains in our front yard in the background. And it was really pretty. The next hat I knit and the final hat that I knit, I started on Saturday right um, when Benny was taken from us. Taken, he was, um, we brought him to the vet to see if there was anything I could, we could do and I stayed home with the rest of the dogs. This pattern is called the Sweet William. It's a pay pattern on Ravelry. I knit this out of Silky Merino, Malabrigo Silky Merino in the, oh, I don't remember the colorway. I don't remember the colorway. Nope, I don't. And I called it the Sweet Benny because I started knitting it when I was starting to mourn him. And I love this hat. This has a, um, what do they call it? A knit one extended stitch in it. And when I first read it, I actually messaged Bruno about it because I was like, this looks way too complicated for me. And I'm the type of person that I need to conceptualize what I'll be doing before I do it or it's just not going to make any sense to me. And and I figured it out. And it it's, it's a slower knit because... Um, I had to continue to do that, but still I got the hat done in two, maybe three days, and um, it's so soft. I've never knit with Malabrigo before, but I found some in my stash. I found two skeins of it in my stash, and I really wish I could remember what color it is, 
but I'll put it in I'll put it down below. Dusk? Dusk doesn't sound right. But it's something along those lines. So that was my final knit hat. And let me put my hair up because I hate wearing my hair down. And it looks horrible today. So next finished object I have is a pair of baby socks and I'm not sure if I showed this in the last video but this was a free pattern on Ravelry, Ravelry I will link it down below and this is knit out of my leftover Spinning Fates Buddy the Elf so um, yarn and aren't those adorable they're just so cute there's a hair on them so I knit that pair <laughs> And I knit one more. And technically, this is a work in progress, but I haven't started the second sock, so it's not really a work in progress. This is out of Holiday Yarns Flock Sock, I think. Holiday Yarns. It's really cute. Nora's favorite colors is the colorway. Got that at Rhinebeck a couple years ago. And that's just made out of leftover yarns. Um, next, I guess I'll show you the other hat. I knit, I crocheted a hat, um, and I called it the Little Bow Sheep hat. And here it is. This was a free pattern on Repeat Crafter Me. Um, it's really cute. It didn't have the pom-poms on it. I added them because I thought they were adorable. And it was fun. It was easy and it was fun. It took a little longer than most uh, than a normal hat, but the next next I did another um, test for Patchwork Moose. Excuse me. Who is the designer of Monty from Vermonty, The Chick, uh, Elsie the Cow? Is that what she named it, Elsie? I think so. And Eeyore, which I don't know if I showed you guys Eeyore. Remind me if I didn't, and I'll show you in the next video. Um, and she had a dolphin, and I named these Delia and Dominic. Nope, Delia and Dimitri. And this is Delia. And she was super cute, and su she's super cute, and she was really fun. Um, and I love her. And then I also, I made Dimitri. And these were just made out of some leftover Red Heart Super Savers. And I never make amigurumis in, like, to me, a dolphin should be gray. So I would make a gray dolphin. So I went, I went over the edge, and I did fun-colored dolphins. And I love them. I'm thinking our niece's birthday party is tomorrow and it's a, at a pool. And I'm thinking of throwing these in, in there because it goes with the party they're having. So that's that. Another thing I made was both of my nieces want those um, big, huge, huggable hedgehogs. And I started mini ones for them. And I actually finished knitting them. Um, but not in time to felt them. Um, because... Life got so crazy, and that's a pattern I need to concentrate on. It's not a hard pattern, but you need to remember what you're doing. So I got a pay pattern from Planet June. It's called um, the Wilderness Creatures, I think. I'll put a link down below. It's a pay pattern. It comes in a set, and I crocheted them two little mini hedgehogs. And I think they're stinking adorable. I think they're so cute. I actually think they might be cuter than the big ones. This guy, I think, looks like he has a bad toupee, and I think that's awesome. And this is leftover from my big hedgehog, and this is some um, Big Lots Fun Fur, which this is the softest fun fur I've ever felt. I don't know. It doesn't feel plasticky like fun fur does, and this, of course, feels like you're knitting with tinsel, which is horrible. Anyway, I'm going to throw them all over the place, so that's them. And I kind of don't want to let them go, but that's okay. They're going to go and... Our nieces are going to love them, love them, love them. Anyway, two, two more, two more finished objects. The next one I knit is I call I called this one How Now Brown Sheep <laughs> instead of Brown Cow. I actually called it How Now dot dot dot. No, How Now Brown dot 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 Sheep question mark. You needed me to do this to complete understand what I was saying. But this is what he looks like. He is from this book, Itty Bitty Toys, which I love this book, um, and he's cute. He was kind of fast. He's a little bit fiddly. I will say that. He's, um, this is, this hair on the top of his head is the equivalent knitting, the knitting equivalent of the double loop stitch. I actually think they called it the double loop stitch or the twisted loop stitch. It was a pain in the boop boop. Anyway, 
but he's cute and I love his little dangly legs and you were supposed to put these I-cord legs into straws but when I put the straws in you could see the white and blue and red from the stripes and I just liked him kind of dangly anyway I need help the last thing I finished was another hedgehog this was a free pattern on Ravelry and I will put a link in the description below and I think I think it was called Heidi Hedgehog and I named her Henrietta and this is what she looks like she was really super duper easy the only complicating thing is that when I do amigurumi I work in a continuous spiral and she um, slip stitched and that was great I just decided I was gonna work in a continuous spiral until you get to here <laughs> and then you need to turn it inside out which doesn't really work in a continuous spirals but I figured it out I worked it out and there it is and I think it's pretty cute and she has a bow in her hair and I think I'm going to um, crochet these on, cro crochet another one on a larger size needle with some wool and then the fun fur. And I'm going to felt them and see how they do because our dogs love um, hedgehog toys, which is how I got started making hedgehogs. And I think these would be awesome dog toys if, if the crochet work will felt similarly or as well as the knitting. Da, 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 da. That's it. Okay, the work in progress I have to show you is I am trying to go through some of my oldest yarn in my stash. And I'm sorry, my nose is itchy. Allergies are horrible right now. Um, so I had a bunch of Lion Brand Baby Soft up there, and I decided I was going to make as many granny, granny hexagons as I could. And let me tell you, it was it was not easy at first. And I think this one. Okay. I made like six of them and they were pentagons. So then I was like, well, that's not right. So I undid them and started to crochet them again. And guess what? I crocheted another pentagon. It took me a while, but I finally have um, my, you know, I know that a hexagon has six sides. And I was like, oh, these are so great. These are so great. And then I was looking at them. I was like, those don't really look right. Originally, I was like, oh, I'm just going to use pentagons, but pentagons don't fit together the same way as a hexagon. Um, so, uh, I have to go turn off the, the dog food. Okay, so I'm back, and dog food is cooling, and I was on pentahexagons. <laughs> no, they're not really pentahexagons, but I did eventually figure out what I was doing wrong. It was pretty simple. I just needed to add another cluster. But I have made a whole, a bunch. What does Mikey on Mikey's Mail call them? A whack. I have a whack of pentahexagons. Maybe that's what I should call these blankets, pentahexagon blankets. You know, that's the first time I said that. But anyway, this is all out of, this is four, five skeins. One skein of each color, except for the blue. The blue is a partial skein of um, Lion Baby Soft. There's a ton of them, and I'm just going to make, I'm going to use up every last bit that I have, um, and then I'm going to put together as many small baby blankets as I can. You know, maybe the, the girl blanket will have pink, green, and yellow, and the blue. I have extra greens, so maybe the green will be, I mean the boys will be green, blue, and cream, something along those lines. And I'm either going to stitch them together with gray but I have to see how it looks, or just white. And that's, there's no time frame on that. I just, when I'm done with a project trying to figure out what to do next, I whip out a couple hexagons. And it's kind of fun and easy, and I the granny square bug has definitely bit me. The next thing I have is stash enhancement. Um, which I haven't been buying yarn, which I say, and I just showed you a whole Michael's haul, but that's okay. Um, the first thing I bought, which I don't ever buy uh, sewing magazines, is I got this Sew It Today magazine. I thought the birds on the front were really cute, and it was only $3.99, but the real reason I got it is it has the directions on how to make these. Now, I make my own project bags, yes. Um, and I'm perfectly fine with them, but I don't know, I, nobody ever taught me how to make them, I just put them together how I think they're supposed to go together, and I liked the look of these, and this is more along the lines of what I would like to do, I'm trying to figure out if they're lined, 
I, I think they are. No, they're not. But I would line them. So I bought the magazine for this pattern. Now when you take into account that if you go to Joann's, you're going to spend anywhere from 99 cents to $17 for a pattern. I didn't think $3.99 for a whole book of patterns was was a bad deal. Now most of these things I can figure out on my own and I probably will never make but for me it was worth it. Anyway I don't need to look through the pattern while you're here with me because that's just plain rude. The next thing um, I went to Big Lots today because I needed to get a couple little dog things and they had new yarn. My Big Lots never has good yarn. The only yarn they ever have is like puke, puke, puke green eyelash yarn and all this gross stuff. And today they had some yarn that I really, really liked. So the first one I got was, I got, it's just the Gala, the dollar yarn. I got this and I don't know, yeah, it has a tiny little bit of shimmer in it, which is not really showing up. The part that looks like light, ooh, where can I put my finger? Right there on top of my finger. That's like a silver shimmer. And it's a really thin yarn. So I thought I would um, knit, I bought four of these. I thought I would knit a hat. Nothing's cooperating. Anyway, I thought I would knit it holding two together. Um, a misty hat or something along those lines because um, I'm starting to do to get together stuff for Christmas I'm also starting to work on stuff for business but anyway I thought that was really cute and who am I kidding I'm gonna knit a hat and it's gonna be for me and I have 500 hats already but you know what they're fun to make and I like making them the next thing I got was fun fur for someone who hates fun fur I went upstairs to the studio and I have a uh, a whole milk crate full of fun fur. What the heck? How the heck did that happen? I hate fun fur. And let me tell you, oh phone, let me tell you, do you know that number? Okay, so what was I saying? Oh, I have a whole milk crate full of fun fur. Let me tell you, knitting, not knitting, crocheting this wasn't too bad because you crochet it with another strand and I just found that there's like a string hanging out of this that I'm going to have to fix. I don't even know how the heck I did that. But this, you crochet just on itself and you can't see the stitches so I was just like, yeah, hope that's it, hope that's it, hope that's the stitch. It was easy and it worked out and you, it's just a big circle so it didn't really matter. But anyway tangent little tangent I got four skeins of this because I thought it was a really pretty color it's a really nice teal it's like a greenish a more green teal than a blue teal and I don't have any fun for her that's this color upstairs so of course it just magically fell into my basket and came home with me it didn't feel quite so bad because I have a big lots card and I had 20% off that I had to use up <clears throat> so the next and final yarn I bought, I'll just show you this one because the ball band broke off. I got three of these because they were there was only three that didn't look like they had been, not, I don't know. So that somebody had gone like this with it and like I was going to spend five hours detangling. It's just a brown yarn, but, oh, see, you can see it. It has just ever so slightly a hint of sparkle. And I thought this would make a beautiful hat. And I probably, oh, those are totally different colors. Okay, this is a totally different color than these two. So, I don't know what I'm going to make out of this one. Maybe it'll be a prize. This one, I'm hoping will make will be enough for a hat. It should be. It should be, but it's pretty. And I like that it has just that little teeny tiny bit of sparkle. I guess I could alternate skeins and then it wouldn't... Oh, but for a hat, do I really want to alternate skeins? No. So, so that is my stash enhancement. And then today, I went to pick up my mail after a week and a half. Um, we have to travel a little bit of a distance to get to pick up our mail, and I usually go on days that I have dance class, um, but I just haven't gone. I haven't gone. We didn't have dance last Friday. I didn't go to dance Wednesday morning because Kristen had an MRI on her ankle, so I went today. Anyway, but I had two packages waiting for me in the mail. The first one is from 
Ayana, Ayana Red, and I think her channel now is Mommy Wife Crafter. I think, I hope. I'll put a link down in the description below. And she sent me the most beautiful journal in the entire world. Seriously. And it's pink. I mean, she must watch my channel and, like, she knows me because it's pink and it's frilly and it's girly and it's beautiful. And I showed it to Kristen and she said it was awesome. And I said, hands off. I think I'm safe, though, because Kristen's not as fond of the pinks as I am. So this is, she made it. And it's, isn't that beautiful, guys? It's just beautiful. I love this fabric. I love this fabric. I love all the fabrics. And there's the back. And she hand embroidered this. Now, you know what? I'd rather get a root canal than do this, but you, this is beautiful. I can't do this. I just can't. I probably could, but there, I would, I would rather go for a root canal than do it. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at this. This. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And this must have taken you forever. And there's a button that opens and there's the journal inside and I can't wait to use it. It's just so beautiful and I love it. And Molly, you can't drink my coffee. I don't know what we're going to do with this dog. So Ayana, thank you so much. It's beautiful and everybody should go check out her channel because she makes really awesome stuff. And Zeke and Anaya are just beautiful children and um I watched I had to show um Zeke's imaginary friend to Kristen because that just that cracked me up I I especially liked that they can't be friends anymore because he's mean I think that's what he said was that him and his imaginary friend can't be mean friends anymore so thank you Ayana Ayana hang on for my package I love it and I'm sorry it took me so long to get to the post office Next, I had a um, package from Snowy44, and I was not expecting this at all, and it had a birthday card, and I won't read it all to you, but she said that she was sorry it was a little bit late with all that's going on in your life. I figured you could use a hug, and let me tell you, I have wanted one of these things since the first time I so showed she showed I saw them on her channel and I, I was so excited I I was so excited it is a squizzle a squizzle now anybody who watches her channel knows that um a squizzle is her own creation and I had actually inquired about purchasing one um it just wasn't the right time for me yet um, but how freaking adorable is it? She said that, and it has yarn. I wonder if I have to worry about him stealing all my yarn in the middle of the night. She said, Squizzles love nothing more than to give hugs. Oh, and play in yarn. So isn't that just adorable? I love him. I love him, love him, love him, love him. And I don't even think I can put this in my studio because I want to look at it all the time. Thank you so, so much. So much. Na, 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 na. Some, for some reason, the Fraggle song. Dance your cares away, troubles for another day. That's what I think when I, not that it, it doesn't remind me of a Fraggle. It just reminds me of like what I think they would do. So I love him. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? So I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. She also has a Facebook page and I will, I will remember to put that down below also because I think I think you can purchase squizzles if you ask her if you ask her very nicely um so, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have my computer precariously um perched on top of something and it's a good thing Kristen's not out here because I'd probably get in big trouble but anyway that is all I have for today um Thanks for listening to me ramble on for, this is 24 minutes. I'm really hoping I can edit it down to much less than 24 minutes because that's just obnoxious. Um, so I hope everybody has a great week, two weeks, a month, year, however long it takes to for me to make another video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.